All right, good morning, you guys. I think we're live, right? And how is it looking to you guys? I hope it looks okay and sounds okay. It's always nervous for me when I'm doing a new setup because I have to kind of figure it out as I go. So I have your chat over here so I can see it and I have the camera there. And then as we do the try on, I'll be here so you can see everything. And just let me know in the chat if it's sounding okay to you. Good morning, Gina Thompson, Andrea, Sonia, Melissa, Jane Blanco. It's so great to see you guys. Oh, Gina says good evening from, oh, is that, is that Brazil? I'm like, I cannot see the flag. Jason, Tanya. Okay, Jane says it looks good. You look gorgeous. Thanks, Jane. Okay, you guys, today we are going to go through all the outfits that I'm taking with me to Korea. I'm super excited about this trip. It was literally a last minute decision. We, I, I didn't realize, I had always wanted to go to these Korean beauty expos. And so I was thinking, oh, I'll get online and look up when the next one is. And I did that last week and realized that this one was starting on the 6th through the 8th. So that same day we booked tickets and we're going. So it's been kind of a, a whirlwind of trying to get everything done and then also like let you guys know that I'm doing this and we're filming at the expo and we're filming at the Four Seasons in Seoul again. So we've been navigating all of those kinds of things too. So anyways. It's been exciting and yesterday I spent all day arranging outfits so that when I get there I have it organized and you know I look as good as I can well put together and uh, at least that takes one thing off my plate one less stress when I'm there so anyways I thought we'd go through this uh, some things are new some things you've seen me buy throughout the last year and I've been able to reincorporate them into this and then I also got um, a new travel bag that I thought was interesting. I'm also going to go over the luggage that I take as well as um, all my gear that I take as far as like filming gear in case like you are interested in vlogging or filming things and you wonder like how do I take it all. I've been doing this for a long time and this is kind of what I've by tried and true what I continue to come back to. So that's what it's going to be. Okay. And everyone is good in here. Hello, Morrissey, Barbara, Sabanas. Um, good morning. Okay, great, let's begin. So you guys might remember this jumpsuit. This is the Zella jumpsuit that I actually got from Nordstrom's last year. So some like fall, summer 2021, it was part of the um, Nordstrom anniversary sale. This is a fantastic jumpsuit. It's a really like stretchy but lightweight kind of tech material. It's got pockets. It's got a hood, you guys. It's just like pretty fabulous and I really enjoy this one. So, um, hold on, let me move this. This seems like it is. Sorry, you guys. Okay, <laughs> just adjusting the audio so it's not in frame. All right, so for traveling there, um, you know, obviously it's a, for me, it's a 10 hour flight direct from San Francisco to um, Ichiban Airport in Seoul, Korea, which is awesome. I mean, that's the one benefit of living near to the San Francisco airport. Within 10 hours, I can be lots of different places. Within 10 hours, I can be in China, Korea, I can be in France. Like 10 hours puts me a lot of places from the San Francisco airport, which is fabulous. So I will be using these New Balance shoes a lot on this trip actually, because when you're walking or you're doing an expo, you want to feel comfortable. So I do have these like pretty cool, just like white and black new balances and they're like slip on. I mean, they have the tie at the top, but you know, they're that single like piece. And by the way, everything that's in this try on 
and what I'm taking will be linked in the description notes as well as we have a large uh, blog <laughs> large blog being written about it with all the pictures of each outfit. So you'll be able to reference that as well and the link will be in the description again. Okay, so for going from San Francisco to Korea, I will be wearing these with my jumpsuit and then for the airport situation, like, cause I am flying business class, my favorite. I was really glad that that worked out. And I will be filming the Polaris Executive Lounge in the San Francisco airport. That is, so if you fly international business class um, or business class in general, but specifically international, they have pretty amazing lounges at some of these key airports like San Francisco. But not every airline uses there's, there's multiple lounges and some airlines have their own lounge, other ones share a lounge and the Polaris um, lounge I found at the um, San Francisco airport is by far the best lounge. It is like the nicest, but the last few international flights I've taken out of San Francisco haven't utilized the Polaris. So uh, like Air France, Korean Air, um, Aeromexico, they utilize this KLM lounge, not nearly the same as Polaris. So this time I'm flying United, which means I get to use the Polaris lounge. So I'm excited. Uh, Turkish Airlines also uses the Polaris lounge and it's really, really fabulous. Like you, it's not just a buffet of food. Like you sit down, it's like a full dining experience. It's just, it really starts your trip off right. So if you ever fly, international business class out of San Francisco and you're you're going to be able to use the Polaris lounge make sure you get to the airport extra early so that you can enjoy all the benefits of what that ticket includes which is that lounge okay so going through the airport I have this Veronica beard uh, blazer I actually got this last year through the, the Veronica beard sale and then I got this um, leather dicky to go on the inside. If you've never seen a Veronica Beard blazer before, they're pretty cool because basically you can swap out these, uh, what do they call them? They call them dickies. So they're, you buy these separate and this one was a leather one and you can zip them in and out. So all of her blazers have these zippers on the inside. Well, if it is a, um, a dicky blazer. And, and so you can like dress it up or dress it down. Like I have this one that's kind of like a sweatshirt zip in. That's kind of cool. She does like sweater zip ins. Okay, so I think it's kind of fun to be able to have this when I'm going through the airport. I will say that this leather one is a little tricky. Okay, I was struggling with it yesterday. So, so then I have this whole thing. Okay, so you like has that up at the top. You have your jacket on. It's pretty fabulous. And let me see that. Um, as you can see, so does not have to be suffer for comfort. That's right. Um, <laughs> Dottie, you need to do this for us. We are excited for you. I know. So Dottie from our app, the skincare app is accompanying me, you guys. I, she has been ride or die with me since the beginning. It goes all the way back to the original Facebook group. And finally, I'm able to share like this piece of heaven with her and I'm super excited. And um, so Dottie is, she lives on the East Coast, so she'll be flying in to San Francisco that morning. And then she and I will be taking the long haul flight to Seoul together. So. Very excited about that. So I'm going to get to the airport early. I'm going to film the Polaris Lounge. So that'll be a video. And then um, I'll meet up with Dottie when she gets in. And then we'll go over to the uh, next gate. And, you know, hang out. Give each other a big hug. Probably do some duty-free shopping. Okay. So this is for when I get to the airport. And just so you know, I travel like this. <laughs> I have... This is my computer camera backpack. So I always have this on me. And then this is my new carry-on. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this brand, but it's the um, base 
B-E-I-S brand. I just got this at Nordstrom actually. It's pretty cool because if you have a roller, this can like, it has that, you know, thing where you can push the, the, uh, the handle up through it. It is a big bag. Now I'm not going to be loading this crazy with weight. That would just, I mean, you could imagine if you packed this thing full of stuff, it'd be crazy. So that's not what's going to be going in this. What's going to be going in this is my vlogging camera. So it's easy for me to pull out rather than having to take off my backpack and like dig in through everything. Cause that kind of becomes a nightmare for me. It will also have like my little mini toiletry bag in it for the airplane so that I can film a fun little video experience for you guys like a skincare on the flight and it'll have like socks and what else will I put in here I have like this little blanket but in business class you actually they give you some great linens but anyways I'll, I'll take it just in case um yeah some some other things that I want to travel in but with but anyways this bag will be kept really really light but if you were using it as like a full on like travel weekend bag or you were flying with it, this bottom part unzips. And so this is like where you would put your shoes. So like you could like put in a bunch of shoes in this bottom piece. And like it looks like I could get like two or three pairs or like one pair of boots laid in the bottom of that. And the other thing that's cool about this bag is, do you see how it's, I have to put that bottom back up. Okay, so this stands up without anything in it. Do you guys see that? It's, it's holding its shape. That's because they put a, like a rigid metal, like there's like wire in here to keep it up. So when you open it up, I can like look down in it and grab my vlogging camera really easily. It does have what looks like a really small laptop, like a 12 inch or uh, for a um, for a iPad. So you could like if I, I haven't, I've been, I have not used iPads in forever, but if you're an iPad person, it does. It really has a great sleeve for an iPad in here. Okay, and then of course I put a luggage tag on it. I just got these new ones from Z Gallery. <laughs> they were on sale, you guys. They're like gold. They came in a set of three. So then I just put a new one on my backpack as well. And so anyways, those. this is how I will be going to the airport besides my roll away, so, or my, my checked baggage. So this will be going on the airport with me or in the airplane with me. And then here is my checked bag. And actually I will be taking two of these. These are the, um, what is it? This is the traveler's choice bag. I really love this rolling bag. I've used this on multiple international trips. In fact, I think I bought it for the last time I went to Korea and it is held up so good. And I love how it is because inside you get two full zip compartments. Um, it's just, it's a fabulous inexpensive bag. So I'm taking two. I'm only going to probably fill one, but I will um, separate the clothes out between both. And, and that way when I'm coming back, I'll have lots of space for bringing all the goodies back from Korea. Okay, let me check any, um, okay. Oh, Dottie says great packing ideas is helping so much. Yeah, Dottie. Okay, the other thing, the other thing that I've done for a long time before I got two of these is I would take a big duffel bag that folds down flat and then I would travel with it inside this, just, just flat. And then when I'm leaving somewhere, like leaving Korea, then I take all of the things that I don't want to get damaged and I put them in the hard case and then all the soft things mostly closed, right? go into the duffel bag and then I go back to the airport and I check two bags, the big duffel bag with just soft clothes in it and then all of my goodies that I'm bringing back in the hard case. So that's another way that I do it and it supports my um, shopaholic nature. Okay, oh, here's a tip for you if you never understand about opening suitcases and you, so this one's great because it actually has 
both sides of it have the zipper panel. So once you put things on both sides, you zip them down and, and they're locked. So no matter which way you flipped it open, nothing's gonna fall out. But most bags don't come like that. So let's say you have a bag and only one side zips down and you're always hating the fact that you always open it up wrong. Okay, this is how you know. This is the this is like how you know where the gas cap thing is on, on your car, which side it is of the car. This is the same with opening a bag. Hey, Stuart. Oh, bag. oh, thank you for bringing me bacon, buddy. Probably not going to eat it right now, but thank you. Stuart stayed home from school today because he has a poison oak breakout. Okay, so you know where the handle is, the rolling handle on your bag? This is the side that you lay down. If you always lay the rolling side of your bag on the ground, then when you go to unzip it and flip that other side over, you won't be flipping over the side that is left open because on regular bags, the side that's left open is always on the hemisphere of where your rolling handle is. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so I've boarded the plane. They will um, hang my jacket for me. So I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna be in my seat and I'm gonna get ready for taking off. And because I do get cold on flights, typically, I bring a backup like sleeping sweater. So I'm gonna, you know, they'll hang this for me. It's always so nice. And then the sweater I'm bringing is my Veronica Beard cable net knit sweater that I got on sale in January. You guys, I buy things on sale. I know I buy sometimes expensive brands, but I still always try to get them on sale. It's very rare that you will see me buy something full price. It's, it's like hard for me to stomach it. Like really hard. <laughs> like I hate myself for it. <laughs> okay, so this is my cable knit that I'll sleep in. And it's really cute too, because with this jogger, you have your little hood. So it's kind of just like a fun thing. And if I just wanted to stay in this for pickup back at the airport, cause we'll be landing, we'll be, we'll be landing around three o'clock in the afternoon. So I won't be late. So I might switch back into my jacket, but this is super cash, super comfortable and a great way to sleep on the flight without changing into pajamas. Now, Sometimes I do take pajamas if I'm flying business class internationally and I do change, but I think to make life easier, I'm probably not gonna change. Okay, so let me just check everything. <laughs> D. Morrissey says, OMG, been traveling internationally since I was two years and never knew how the luggage worked. Bring on my next trip. Well, it's like, until I saw that TikTok of the arrow on knowing which side your gas cap was on, I mean, I'd been driving for what, 20 years and had no idea. It was that stupid TikTok reel that went viral where I was like, mind blown, the little arrow next to your gas empty light is denoting which side the gas cap is on, which is amazing because if you do rental cars and all those kinds of things, you, you get out of the car and you're like, which side is it on? Now you can just look at it and be like, oh, it's always on this side. Okay. So that kind of got us through a bunch of like things that I wanted to cover really quickly. Now let's bring on the fun. Let's bring on fun outfits for going. So the K Beauty Expo is three days. It's the 6th, 7th, and 8th. And so my plan, I mean, I don't think I need to film it every day but I want, I will be meeting with vendors. I'll be meeting with brands and I want to make sure that, you know, I look the part. So, um, anyways, let's get this going. I have my pictures. Let me see. I made myself cheat sheets. I meant to, um, I meant to, let's see, here it is. <laughs> my plan was to like, print them out so that I could do them, but I have it on my phone, so that's what we'll do. Okay, so one of my first outfits for going to the expo and being kind of like casual, but also utilizing things I need, especially for filming and stuff, is I'm going to have these white pants 
I'm going to be utilizing this green shirt and I'm going to be utilizing my uh, black and white plaid cardigan. So I'm going to put this together really quick. I'm going to just be changing out of frame, but I'll be able to talk to you. And I'm going to bring my Red Bull so I can uh, get some drinks going. I'll also turn up the music. Oh, and while I'm over here, I'm flipping my thing around so that I can um, check your um, comments. Let me see. Okay. Oh, hey, Diane, how are you? Okay. Let's just make sure that I don't accidentally flash the camera. That would be totally embarrassing. Oh, just kidding. We can't turn it up because that is me talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yes. And we're having um, dinner and lunch with the Filler House team and the Dermix team. Yes. So that will be great, too. I love going to all the fabulous eateries in Korea. You really are just, like, treated so well in Korea. Like, it's just like a whole nother experience. So I love it. And I just, whenever I find things that are fabulous, I love being able to share with you guys and give you the whole deal. I, I'm not sure why some people feel that Asia is like scary. I get that the language barrier might be scary, but now with Google Translate, things are so much easier. And also so many people speak English, especially if you go to like American known brand hotels. Like if you stay at the Four Seasons or at the JW Marriott or, um, you know, there's a Conrad in Seoul, which is a Hilton property, you, um, you can always be assured that they're gonna have great English for you and they want, they want American travelers, so they do so much to really accommodate everyone and make them feel safe and helpful. And Korea is safe. Asia is super safe. Like China, Japan, Korea, they're crazy safe. Safer than the US, you guys. So don't, don't be afraid of that. Now, if you go down to like Southeast Asia, that's a whole nother concept. And more people, I feel like, feel comfortable going to those countries than they do going to um, like the Northern Asian countries, which is so funny to me. Um, okay, so Gina said, um, as Filler House and Dermix, will you be filming a lot at the expo too? Yes, Gina. Um, Melissa can attest to this because she just was with me filming in Tahoe and in, um, in uh, Calistoga. I try to film every aspect. It might take me a while right now to get all of the content out that I film, but you guys, I film everything. And then when I sit down to work on those videos, I try to like batch the entire concept. So um, into multiple detailed videos. So, you know, that's that's kind of how I do it. It's, it's a tough thing to be a mama for, film, travel, run the app, do everything that I do and make the videos, but I love video editing and I love giving you as much detail as possible. So believe me, I will. Okay. So here is, this is that, um, this is that light tissue turtleneck, um, from J crew. I got a bunch of these because whenever these go on sale, these are the things to stock up on and they were on sale this past weekend. So I got like three new colors and this is like one of my favorite colors. Okay, so we have this, then these uh, white jeans from J. Crew also are essentially cropped for me. <laughs> so I didn't have to like worry about getting them hemmed. And then they work great with these shoes again, the New Balances. And then I'm going to make it look a little fancier with, this is my Gucci belt. Now I did get this in duty free. Always a good time to stock up on some kind of luxury because you know you don't pay taxes. So not that things are on sale, but you're saving like 13%. Okay, and on something that's expensive, that adds up to be quite a bit. So 
I love this belt because I wear it both ways. It's actually a twofer. It's black on one side and then this beautiful um, kind of taupey color on this side. So I want it to stand out. So I'm not putting it on the black side. I'm putting it on this side and it's going to be like 60s kind of weather. And then in those expos, you know, it can be crazy cold. So again, comfortable shoes, comfortable pants, comfortable kind of like blazer sweater with the Gucci belt on it. And um, I don't know, I, I have the um, branded hat for our app. So I might also like wear this around a little bit just to make sure people see our brand. So that's kind of like, one idea about it. I might do, I might make it more fancy too with a bunch of like layered necklaces or something, but I need to be like comfortable if I'm walking all day long. So that is one of the expo outfit ideas. So I saw the first $800 one in Miami and I was like, mm, excuse me. Um, so I went on Amazon and I got this one as the knockoff. And this one is only like, what, a hundred and... 50 maybe anyways i use this all the time i think it just like really glams up anything it's really easy the only thing i will say about this is you have to make sure that your wrists are shaved because these little grommets will like rip your hair out okay then um other things that i'm bringing to dress it up i will be taking my k gold necklace i have some little gold pearl earrings from hawaii that i'm taking these ones i just love these ones um I have some little crystal stud earrings, and then I have some rose gold hoops. I'm trying to make sure that I don't take too many accessories because you guys, Korea is the land of accessories, so it's fun to be able to incorporate stuff as I'm buying it there too. Okay, so I will also be taking my Fendi gold glasses, which are definitely a statement piece, and I love, I love wearing those. So we'll be taking that. Oh, what was, oh, I know what else I was gonna show you. Okay, so I have this with the belt on it, but I will also have this on. So during the show, I will be wearing my black leather um, fanny pack because one of the things that I will do is this is my DJI, so this is my small little vlogging camera. So I will have this in my pocket along with my phone. And um, I'll have to work on that. I might have to put my wallet in there. I don't know, I'll play with it, but this gives me like another hands-free area to put a bunch of stuff, which is super helpful. So that will definitely be something that I utilize while I'm there too. Okay. So we will do our next kind of expo outfit. And I spent so much time, you guys, yesterday taking pictures and transforming these outfits into different things so that you could see that there is a lot of um, versatility and, and uh, yeah, different ways to work it. Okay, so then... Let's see, where is another one? Oh, okay, I'm excited to show you this one because this is one of my favorite looks. These pants from Banana Republic, and you guys, they are on sale right now. So you need, if you think they're cool, you need to then go get them, like now. So Banana Republic, I really appreciate that they have gone back to the Banana Republic we grew up with. And if you're younger than me, then you might not know what I'm talking about, but I just feel like the last, ever since they hit 2005, Banana Republic went way downhill. And I was just never motivated to shop there really anymore. I was just kind of like, eh. But they've really upped their game again. They've gone back to classic cuts, classic materials, high-end finishes, and they've also scaled back how much is going on in that store so you don't feel like you're just being overwhelmed by craziness. So they don't do their crazy sales anymore. So I feel like when you buy a piece there, it's going to be a piece that you're going to enjoy longer. Okay, so I'm gonna change into these and I'm just like looking at the outfit. Okay, and I will again watch the chat 
as I'm doing this. How is this all working for everyone? Does this setup seem like this is a, a good situation? For me, it seems like it's working well. Yeah, the outfits, Gina says the outfits are a great combination between comfort and style. Yeah, well, that is always my goal. I want to look, you know, and, and also I don't want to look like I tried too hard, but you know, in the end we did, we spent a lot of time trying, but, um, but you want to have that kind of like effortless, comfortable look. And also in Korea, they do, they, they do this thing where they have this kind of style that's very different than what you see typically in the United States. And it's, it's very cool. So it's kind of fun to try to like model after that. It's working really good, Blake says. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Diane says, is this your closet? I absolutely love it. So Diane, this is the room that's next to my filming studio that was actually my original filming studio and then I moved into the bigger space and we have ever since COVID hit, the idea was to get all of these cabinets built. And originally we were just doing Ikea because that's affordable. And it was really just supposed to be a nice way to store everything. Well, then Ikea basically sent like half our order and then just said they weren't going to make the rest of the things that we ordered. So we were stuck with this non-usable situation. Thanks Ikea. So then we, in the end, hired somebody this spring, summerish, and they built these cabinets and drawers for me, um, custom. So basically this is kind of like, I don't know, my new space for content creation. I don't know if I'll move fully in here to do filming again. Maybe I will. It just kind of depends. Okay. But so to answer your question in a long way, this is not my closet. My closet doesn't have this kind of uh, space for a perspective, but, um, but yeah, it's great. Cause to be able to film like this, like I do have white cabinetry in my real closet, but it's, it's Ikea. And the only way, which there's nothing wrong with Ikea. I love Ikea. Um, I don't love what Ikea did to me, but, um, okay. So I just continue to stay on top of putting things away because otherwise, you know, I will forget. Okay. So these pants are super cool. Now these are also a little bit long for me. If I had time before leaving, I would have gotten them hemmed. When I get back, I will try to make sure I get them hemmed. I am wearing these in a size two. Now, originally I tried these on in a size six, which also looked cute, but I felt like by going down to a size, because I asked for a size four, it wasn't like, oh, the six looks cute, but can I try two? They only had a six or a two. So when I put on the two, I was like, I don't think these are gonna fit, but we'll try them anyways. The two fit perfect because you can see that it has that kind of like billowy volume in the front. And so with this really cool, like, gold belt and I wanted I wanted it to still contour and not give me so much volume in the back so the two did that better so I don't want to say that these are running small I mean big but I would say that if you are normally wearing one size maybe at least size down one size if if your legs I guess it really depends on where your volume in your body is like if you have really wide thighs and a backside, then maybe don't size down. But if you have thinner legs and you don't want so much volume, then definitely at least size down. Okay, one size. So again, kind of just like this casual look and um, you love the room. Thanks, Dottie. And, uh, Okay, so what was I doing with this outfit? That's right. Okay, so it was gonna be that gold bangle. And, you know, I I do have, I will be taking my fabulous Yves Saint Laurent bag. 
So probably something like this along with my K necklace, my gold K necklace or something. And then this is just like a great easy outfit to meet with people. It's great for filming and I feel comfortable. If it's, if it's super cold, again, I can um, take one of my sweaters and pair it with it. So probably this one, although the one concern I do have about this outfit and pairing a big like sweater or jacket with it is that I don't want to look overwhelmed by the volume. So if I do do something like this because it's cold or something, I might, I might like try to tuck it back or something. I don't know. I might try to like leave it open and then use maybe my um, fanny pack to kind of like cinch it in so that it doesn't seem so overwhelming. I'm also hopeful that at the, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to work on that. I'm also hopeful that at the expo, there will be a locker. So if I do arrive there in a jacket because it's cold, we can drop the jacket um, and not. I also have a turtleneck a white turtleneck. So if it is cold, I'll switch the t-shirt, the linen t-shirt out for the turtleneck. So because I, I just, I need to be comfortable and I get cold so easily. And then I'm like irritated, <laughs> if you can imagine. So, so this is Banana Republic and these are their linen t-shirts. Oh my gosh, these are on sale right now. This was like $18. Their linen t-shirts are $18. So they're kind of like this longer sleeve and um, really, really pretty. Like just, I don't know, great. So I, I love how this outfit looks. I'm hopeful that I can wear it like this, but if not, I have some ways of modifying for the weather. <laughs> oh, Blake says the YSL is a great color. Yes, I know. Um, you know, when, when you're buying a bag like that, oh, by the way, let me just be transparent because I never want people to think that like, you know, everything is crazy. So this Fendi bag is real. I got the, my, this was a gift from my parents when I was living in Barcelona back in high school, college, college. So I had this little Fendi bag for 20 years now. So yes, this has gotten a lot of great use. It's a really cute like style and shape. And anyways, I've had this forever. This YSL bag was my Christmas gift from Jason this year. And then this little Chanel yellow bag. This is a fake, you guys. I got this in China in and um, I was to let you guys know because I, you know, when I buy real things, I will own that. When I buy fake things, I will own that too. Okay, so let's see. Um, you love the black and white, Deb? Oh my gosh, thank you. Diane says, sorry, got it wrong. So excited for you both and the team. Have a super fabulous time. Thanks for sharing. Can't wait to see you all. Follow up information in the NKT app. 100% Diane, have fun. I hope you're going golfing. Okay, next outfit. And you can see by kind of the color palette that what I try to do is I take pieces that mix and match really well with one another. So this, this could be considered some kind of um, wardrobe uh, capsule because I could get so many different outfits out of the things I'm taking. Now, one of the reasons I do it that way too is because if something changes or I'm not sure what we're doing or whatever, I like to be able to put things together with things that I have that look bright. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I'll show you a way that I was going to dress these pants up for dinner with this like top. It'll look awesome. Just just you wait. Oh, and my, uh, these are Valentino studded heels. So this is what they look like. So watch these pants, this outfit 
will go from the expo to a night out. Oh, I'm so glad. Thanks, Gina. Oh, Gina, I don't know why your message was retracted, but Gina said, I love you, Kim, for always keeping it real. You're, yeah, I mean, how, how else are we supposed to be, right, Gina? I just, with how much fakeness goes on in the world across the internet, I just can't handle it. Like, I would even be more real and more transparent if it didn't, like, constantly get me kicked off of things. Okay. I just feel like my personality resonates with you guys and it brings in people who are like me, very real, very like honest and hardworking and confident. And I just, I love that. I love that by being myself, I'm able to find people who identify with me rather than trying to pretend to be something else which by the way I could never keep up like I could never like keep up some charade oh, thanks Deb okay let's see oh sorry I got that all confused sorry guys Deb's still here it's Diane who's leaving and Debbie's the one who golfs not Diane well maybe Diane golfs too I don't know but okay so I love how these pants can go from day to night with a change of shoes and top. And it just looks so awesome, right? Like super cool pants. I just, these were like my favorite find when I went shopping the other day. I was just like, and when I saw them on the rack, I was like, oh, those are those like paper bag pants. Those are going to look horrible on me because usually volume things do not look good on me. And um, anyways, this is that camisole kind of top that I got this earlier this year at Anthropology on sale again. But... This is some way that I'm going to make it like extra fun and fabulous for Korea. So I got this in on my trip to Argentina when I went to see Carolina. And this is just a fabulous sequin top. So if you ever want to like, if you're planning a trip and you're putting together a wardrobe, make sure you take something that you can put on that is extra fabulous, that just looks like, whoa like a full sequin jacket. And then you pair it with the outfit that you're gonna do. And you guys, you see, it's so fun and cool and ready to go out. And, you know, I might take it, maybe do it with my Fendi bag or something. And it's just, this is such an easy, great outfit. So that is, again, one of the ways I'm utilizing these pants while I'm there. These pants, great question, what material are they? They are, they feel like a thick cotton, but when I take them off, I will um, look at its um, material listing. But yeah, it's like, um, it reminds me of like a thick poplin, like if you are ever used to buying J. Crew pencil um, skirts, it, that's the material it feels like. No stretch, just like a, a very structured co cotton. But let's check it out. Okay, so let me look at what I'm going to put on next. You guys like this one? I thought you guys would. I It was one of my favorites too. Okay, um, because I have this camisole on, I'm gonna put on what, the dress that I got and show you how I'm also gonna take that out for dinner and then we'll do the day look with the dress because that will be probably really efficient. I was also trying to figure out how do I do this efficiently and not take forever because yesterday I spent all day, but I was also taking pictures so that took longer. 
but it was it was quite intense. It was something I was not planning on spending my time on, but I am really glad that I did because I think it allowed me to come up with some great things and it will make now my packing and going to Korea so much simpler. So that's always helpful. Okay, so the dress I'm putting on right now is also from Banana Republic. It was also on their sales rack, which is very, very limited, again, because they've really scaled back their, the way they're doing everything. So I was lucky to get this dress, but it might be online. So I think just because my store, I got the last one, doesn't mean that they're online and sold out. I'm not really sure how that's all working anymore, now that things are so different. Okay, the pants, to answer your question, they are made in Sri Lanka, and they are, there's your material breakout. That is care. So I'm just scanning the numerous tags right now, looking for the material one. Okay, it's gotta be on this. Oh, there it's just 100% cotton. Sorry, it was like right at the top of it. Yeah, so it is, it's 100% it's cotton and it really does remind me of like structured pencil skirts I buy from J. Crew. So if you've ever bought one of their pencil skirts, it's, it's like the same material. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this dress, from Banana Republic comes with a tie, but I don't like doing the tie. So what I'm going to do with this dress is I do have that camisole underneath it. So I'm layering that together and I'm just gonna do my little front buttons. This dress is great because this is actually stretchy. So this is like a stretchy waistband so really all you have to do is do some of these top buttons because the rest of it will just stretch over you. You don't need to worry about like, well, these, these aren't even real buttons, I don't think. Yeah, so that's good. And then it splits right here above the knee, but there's so much um, billow to this and it's lined, so it's a, so it's like a sheer, and I just think it's perfect for fall, right? Like, but it kind of has a, almost like, it can kind of have a homey vibe, you know, or homely. I don't know. Like, I don't want it to look prairie. So, oh, also, I can't do these cuffs by myself. This is like so challenging to do super, um, I mean, I could do them by myself, but then I, I would struggle, so I'm not doing them for you. But it, it does cuff here with a button. Okay, so, one of the ways we make it look extra fab without doing their tie because I can never tie those things very well is I'm bringing my Gucci belt back on and um, just like now the waist on this is higher so what I did notice is that I was just going to pull it through and then tuck it down because I don't have a hole for this length I know you could set a new hole um, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it cool like that like just kind of like twisted through I still have it and then you know some pretty necklace up here maybe like put my hair up so that and then if it's cold then I'm just going to again throw on my fun going out jacket. And again, I'm wearing it with my uh, Valentino studded heels. And this is just like fun. Like I feel like fun, right? Like, and this will photograph pretty and everything. Okay. If you don't have a camisole to go under this, this does button up higher in case you're concerned about um, exposing too much. I just thought layering that camisole under it gave a little bit more interest and kind of took something that might not be 
a quote unquote sexy dress and kind of like gave it a little bit, you know, a little bit more. Okay, let's see about the comments. Um, love that long dress. Oh, thank you, April. Okay, so Melissa has linked everything that is linkable in the description. So this dress is available, you guys. And it's fun. Like, you know, it's kind of like, it's got that Marilyn Monroe kind of like flow to it. If you stand over a air grate, it might blow up. We will not be, well, yeah, Dottie, maybe we'll try to find something like that in Korea. Okay, so next. Oh, I'll show you how I was going to do this for a day look at the show. So day look at the show. So definitely not heels. That would just... Not only would I destroy these beautiful heels, but that would be a nightmare. Okay. So for the show, I would wear black stockings. Um, and these are my new boots from J. Crew. I just got these. I've been wanting a new pair of like riding boots because I, I did get rid of a bunch of boots a few years, like last year. So I'm going to put them with this. So that's like that. And then remember that sweater we flew into town wearing from Veronica Beard? Okay, so we're gonna put this on top. So we're basically gonna turn this kind of into like a skirt with boots, but we need more figure. So again, the Gucci belt is to, to the rescue. So I'm just going to put it on me and cinch that in. And now this will be just like another great expo outfit or a shopping day out in Korea. But definitely with the tights and the boots, I'll be warm to be outside. And I think it just like, again, gives like a very cool vibe and, and you can like tuck these up and I can throw on again my gold bangle to make it look more fun but it does it kind of has that like I don't know what would you call it that like late 60s early 70s kind of vibe to it because I think of this patchwork material kind of looking like that in a way okay um okay I love the color of that sweater too. Great double duty. 100% Deborah. Like, you have to be careful with the colors you buy. Like, I like having things that stand out, but I also need things that are not one note pieces. Like, if I'm going to spend $300 on something, that thing better be able to work with a lot of things. And that's just how I've always felt. I also feel like things need to fit really well. Just because something's on sale, if it's not fitting you well, do not buy it. I can't stress that to you enough. Like there have been plenty of things that I have loved that I have just been like, it's not for me. It doesn't fit me right. And like those big, they right now J. Crew or uh, well, lots of them, but Banana Republic is selling these corduroys that would have been fabulous for Korea, but they're not fabulous for me because they come up high, which is fine, but their volume in the legs is so big that all it was gonna do was make me look like a huge corduroy blob. Like I do not have enough height to pull off those pants. And in order to wear them, I would need to wear very high wedges and that's not comfortable for me to walk around in. So it's also about knowing yourself when you pick these things and put things together. What do you feel comfortable in? What are you truly going to wear? And how are you going to wear it? What are you doing in those things? And I still make mistakes. There are things in my closet that I have purchased that I have not worn. And when I look at them, it does make me feel embarrassed. Okay, next. <laughs> Deborah's like, my legs don't need to look better. I bigger, I know. Um, oh, Blake, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. Bye. 
Okay, let's do another outfit for the uh, the show because I got the, you guys remember, if you joined me for that live where I tried on clothes from Anthropology Sale, these were them. I'm finally going to wear these. So I'm mixing them with a, an oldie but a goodie. This is my Veronica Beard turtleneck. I got her on sale from Shop My, not Shop My Shelf, but from Shop Bop like two years ago. And again, pieces like this, I just adore. So this is what we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna change into that. And let me, see. I just need to go back to my picture. <laughs> so I remember how I put this all together. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks great. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna turn the camera around or the phone around so I can see the chat with you guys while I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, Jeannie Mae says, guys, I can barely get a signal. I'll rewatch later. The cell tower is down and no electricity. I'm sure you're looking at this. Oh, Jeannie Mae or Jenny Mae, I'm so sorry. So sorry that's going on for you right now. How horrible. Okay, so I'm glad you guys like this dress. It's actually become more of a winner than I thought it was going to be. It, you know, I started to realize what a great top it was when I was playing with it, or dress it was when I was playing with it yesterday, so. Sometimes you just need to take time with your pieces and really play with maximizing what their potential is. And we all have closets full of clothes and we can all pull things and make things look awesome. Okay, so where are these pants? I brought another pair of flat shoes besides my New Balances that I'm going to pair with these pants because these pants, again, I wish they were a little shorter for me, hemmed a little bit better because they're they're kind of at a weird spot and paired with the sneakers, they look a little funny. So, I mean, I probably still will pair them here and there with them, but okay. So we'll hang the dress back up. And then this is this so far, but we're gonna make it look cooler. Okay, so these are my Tory Burch slides. I got these last year and I actually pre-ordered them. And then, and by the way, they're on sale right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I pre-ordered them because I just loved their color, the gold detail, I just thought they were fabulous. I have rarely worn them because this back area kills my heel. So I recently, just did this actually yesterday, I put, I don't know if you can see them, but I have the other ones down here. I'll show you. I put those heel things in them from Amazon. So I bought a package of these and I put them in to the shoes so that they would feel more comfortable because I, I literally could not wear them. And every time I'd walk into Tory Burch and now see that these shoes were on sale, I was like so irritated because I was like, not only did I buy them full price, I cannot wear them because they kill my feet. So this, I'm hoping, is going to make a huge difference. I'm going to wear them over the weekend for the next few days just to ensure that I can wear them for a full day. That's another thing. You should test before you go. Like if you're going somewhere and you know you're going to be walking all day, like you're going on this amazing European adventure, for instance, and you're walking all day, you better test those shoes for weeks before you get there. Test them. Wear them. Live in them. That way when you're there walking around, you're not thinking... Oh, my feet are killing me. You're thinking, isn't this place magical? I'm loving it. Okay, so we've got the Tory Burch shoes on with this shirt. So they all kind of have this like fall beautiful vibe. But again, and I really do gravitate to the taupe side of this belt a lot. But I just love it. And I love how well it works. And I also... Really appreciate that I'm getting so much value out of this belt because, you know, these things aren't cheap and you want to get as much value out of them as you can. So this also like dresses it up and makes it look cool. 
And then I did think like my Fendi bag from when I was in school. Cute, right? I just think that this is like almost like a, this is a nod to when I was in high school. These were my outfits in high school. I was, this was me, a, like a preppy J. Crew girl. And um, now I can use a couple pieces to like make it a little bit more glam, like these bad boys. If you've never seen me wear these, oh my gosh, you're in for a treat, you guys. I absolutely love these glasses. Jason got them for me for my 40th birthday when we were in Hawaii. And they are just, I mean, right? So they have these Fendi gold chains on them and they're just, it's so fun. It's just, and this outfit is so comfortable. So these green cords from Anthropology, this Veronica Beard turtleneck. Now she makes this turtleneck every year. So it might not be in the same color, but she always has the same turtleneck. And what this turtleneck is, is basically it comes with these little like girly puffed up sleeves and you do get a high rise. It's not mock, it's a full on turtleneck. And it's just fabulous knit material. Like it's really color safe. It's held its color for two years now. So definitely a good buy. If you ever see one of these on sale on Shop Bop or on Brunk, it's hard to find these on sale actually, because these are a desirable commodity that she sells. So I don't think, unless it's a weird color that's not doing well, you might, you'll never find the black and white one on sale. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Cause I'm always trying to get the black and white one on sale and it's never on sale. Okay. And I love it so much that I might just have to splurge one of these days and pay full price for it because I've been waiting two years to try to get the black and white one on sale. Alrighty, so this is one of those outfits that should be great for walking around. Yeah, definitely chic for the city. Um, the whole Mangwon area, I think that's how you say it, is a fabulous shopping area. It's where Tony Moly, Misha, it is free, a million hair clips, a million skincare places, just fabulous clothes. Um, and then across from it is the Shinsei Ga Shopping Center, which is like, again, tons of Korean brands, a little bit more expensive, but like, like they do, I just can't wait to share it with Dottie and you guys. Like they do such beautiful things. Like they really take the girliness up a notch and I love it. Okay, what is our next outfit? My legs don't, <laughs> the glamour glasses. I know Deborah. like I love these glasses so much. Okay, let's see. Oh shoot, I forgot to show you guys that outfit. Okay, well, let's get a pair of jeans on because I feel like I've shown you um, a bunch of different things and I want to show you these jeans. Now I did pay full price for these jeans from Banana Republic. Not my favorite experience, but I wanted a new pair of gray jeans, like a gray black jean. And um, these ones fit the bill. And so in the end, I did it because I didn't have very much time to go hunting for another pair and actually these ones fit great. I got them in a size 27. I did try them on in a 28 originally, but the 27 fit much better. They are a high rise slim. So they're, but they're also, they're cut short enough for me so I didn't have to get them hung. So these are a great jean for me. And this silk blouse from Banana Republic was on sale. They also have a cream one. I wanted the cream one also, but I, controlled myself and just got the fatigue green one, but the cream one looks beautiful as well. So again, I'm gonna put these together. I'm gonna wear them with my boots. So I'll show you guys what that is gonna look like. <laughs> Jane's like, I wanna go there to Korea. Sounds great. Oh my gosh, Jane especially after you have lived in Japan, you know what I'm talking about when I say um, about the whole like luxury uh, vibe and taking care of in Asia. Like it's just, 
And maybe, maybe, maybe the experience I'm getting is jaded because I do stay at really nice hotels and, um, and then I am American, but you know, so maybe it's a little bit different. I don't know, but you're got, you guys are American too. So you would get the same experience that I'm getting, but yeah, it's just, it's a fabulous, fabulous experience. And I just always think that when Asian travelers come to the U.S., they must think that we are just like heathens because they just have so many protocols for doing things so beautifully. And I don't know, it's just a different world. And I, I appreciate it so much. And Gina says, I'm excited for you and watching you pack feels like packing with a friend. Oh my gosh, Gina, I'm so glad you said that because that's exactly how I want it to be. I want it to feel like that. And you guys being here with me makes me feel so loved and so incredibly supported. And um, I just hope that my experiences are able to lift you up and inspire you in, in whatever you're doing. So... Anyways, I really appreciate you saying that. Okay, let's get these things put away really quick. So this outfit's not done, but we've got the, the main pieces on so that I can come back in front of the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm also gonna, by the way, I will go over the camera gear I'm taking in case that matters to anyone. So I will, uh, make sense of that for you guys as well. Okay, so let's see. Kind of like have it organized by areas because I will also identify how many pieces that I'm taking and what their categories are. So like four shirts or three G, three pants or something like that. I'll, we'll, we'll do a whole um, breakdown once I get through trying on all these things for you. Okay, I, I'm not going to try it on because I, there are photos of it on the blog. So there's more photos and more outfits that I put together on the blog than what I'm going through every single thing. But by the way, these corduroys with this um, knit top also, super cute with a hat on. So I was pairing it with this um, hat. It just, it's again, such a, a chic like comfortable shopping day look. Okay. okay, so I kept that black camisole on and okay, we'll throw on a necklace just because I've been lazy and haven't been putting those on, but we'll get the K necklace on since I'm leaving the silk blouse open. So again, kind of get that like glimpse of a little lace, gives a little bit of drama. I will be putting on my belt again. This time I will do it on the black side. So the way it works is I just twist the Gucci gold little emblem thing. I'll put it on the black side. Okay, so now we got that little pop of fun right in the front and with the black and you know, like we've got it kind of like synchronized like that, but we are gonna put on our boots. So we've got our boots. So this will be different color of leather and I'm always okay with mixing leather colors. I'm also okay with mixing silvers and golds together. I. I grew up in the 90s, like I was in high school in the 90s when it was like, you never mixed it. Like I can remember being like, I have to go get a pair of boots in this color because I have a belt that's this color and I can't wear it with anything else. And I just remember feeling very, like if I was gonna change a color on something, I felt like, well, I need 
those other things to like go with them. And I'm so glad that now like it doesn't feel that way anymore. You know, like everything's so much more freeing when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, let me see. So again, I'm bringing some different things for layering on top of something like this. One of the things that I have is I do have my BS Vega fun vest. So this is a faux. Last time I took a real one, people got like all up in arms about it. It was from a consignment store, by the way, I was giving it new life, but you know, people just get so angry. So this one is faux and I was excited to buy this one anyways. I got this last year during the Nordstrom um, sale, but it's kind of a fun, just like over like the silk shirt and it's got, um, pockets and anyways just kind of a fun piece wear it with my Yves Saint Laurent bag and again just going out for the day this is a great fun look for walking around Korea okay. we have a similar vest linked okay Yes, and the boots, okay, Melissa's saying the boots are on sale. I, I got my boots on sale too, so I'm glad. I didn't want to say I got them on sale and then them not be on sale anymore because sometimes those sales are not end of season sales. Sometimes those sales are like buy it, like to get stuff moving, you know? And um, so anyways, I'm glad to know they're still on sale. Another jacket that I got is this one. So this is kind of in this, kind of rusty light brown color just in case it gets really cold and I'm, and I'm out and I just want something more cocooned like this is um what I'm going to take because I think this is a fun jacket last time I went to Korea it was January February it was much colder like it snowed on us I had to take a lot more warm weather or cold weather um, pieces. This time I'm not taking like my heavier jackets. I'm just taking basically this one, the blazer, and this going out sequin jacket. By the way, this looks super cool with the jeans too. Definitely lots of ways to mix this whole thing up and make it just fun and with a million outfits. Okay, one of the other things that I wanted to show you was what I'm going to pair this dress with because there's a couple ways to dress it up or dress it down. So I'll share that with you right now too. Oh, and the cocoon jacket, the one that I just showed you is on sale right now too. So that's great. Deborah says, adorable outfit. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, we love you. I'm doing my first live tonight for the show. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so glad I caught that comment. Okay, so Deborah is doing her first live in our app tonight. I am so proud of you, Debbie. Congratulations. It is, it's, it's, I love watching people's ability to grow and feel inspired to, not just make skincare decisions for themselves, but going live, as I'm sure some can relate, is not an easy thing to do. Like some people kind of feel comfortable doing it, but I get it, lots of people do not. And the idea that we are inspiring so many people who never set out in life to do lives, and now they are, for the app is really incredible. And I love watching people grow and feel confident in that aspect as well. Like, it's just really, there's so many reasons to be involved in the app and the community is just really incredible. Okay. Okay, so this dress that I'm putting on is a Tory Burch dress that I got this winter. 
Now, this dress is still available. I don't know if it's still available in black. I saw it in a plum color at the store recently. So I'm not sure about online and what's going on there, but when you're traveling, these kinds of dresses are fabulous. It's a knit dress. It's like very form fitting. It's going to like, just kind of like suck you in or you can use a body tamer and then just like be more comfortable. It's got this great banding right here that really brings you in. So again, <laughs> you could always put the belt with it and I'll do it on black because just to keep it looking more um, polished. Oh, but it, it's going to be too short or too long. So I'll just do the wrap again where I pull it through and then I just do it like that. So obviously going out with this dress, I could do my heels, which would again, make it look a little bit more dressed up. And then if I wasn't going out and I was just like shopping around the town or this is another one of my expo outfit ideas actually. So for the expo, we're going to bring out that black fanny pack again. It's gonna like ride on my hip. And then I'm going to swap these shoes out for my white and black New Balances. And now I'm like comfortable to walk around. It's like, it looks cool. We've got the fanny pack kind of giving it that like cool vibe. And um, this is actually one of my favorite probably outfits to wear at the expo just because this, this outfit actually feels extremely Korean to me. So I don't know why I say that. I think it's because I'm used to seeing girls in Korea in dresses with sneakers on. <laughs> so I feel like this is a very Korean outfit. Um, I love the very versatile, nothing like a black dress. That's right. Um, everyone needs a fanny pack. <laughs> I know I get so much hate for my fanny pack from like my husband and my dad and my boys, but you know what? Fanny packs are amazing. So I don't know why people are hating on fanny packs. Okay, I think they're just jealous because like fanny packs aren't made for men. So again, these jeans, by the way, look at all the shirts. So these jeans are going to pair great with anything I need them to pair with. Like all of the tops I brought will pair well with these jeans, the sweaters, everything. So they all work together, giving me essentially limitless combinations, especially if something gets messed up. Like let's say the first day I spill something on this silk blouse and it's just ruined because that's what happens to silk, unfortunately. Um, I'm not like, my outfits aren't dead because I lost this silk blouse. I have so many other things that work in my arrangement so that nothing's completely dead. So when it comes to those t-shirts, by the way, I also have one in black and white striped. So I have it in cream and then a black and white striped t-shirt. So two t-shirts, I'm taking these PJs from Nordstrom's. It's the open edit. I'll try them on for you. I'll put them on for you with the robe because this is so fun, okay? But I'm taking one robe, one PJ, two t-shirts, one bathing suit. This is my Tory Burch bathing suit. I will try these things on for you still. One silk blouse. I'm taking a black T tissue um, turtleneck from J. Crew as well as the green one. And then I have just this white like mock neck long sleeve. So three like long sleeves. 
I'm taking basically three pair or four pairs of pants. So we have a pair of cords, the jeans, the white jeans, and then those black pants. second these fell down they're really cramping my style here stay up okay then we're taking two dresses this one and this black one from j crew i mean this one's from tory birch this one's banana republic when it comes to sweaters i basically have four sweaters that are going i have the veronica beard turtleneck i have this just really soft Hensley top uh, black and cream long sleeve sweater, a Veronica Beard cable knit sweater, and then the, you know, kind of like sweater blazer in this black and white plaid. one jumpsuit which is that travel jumpsuit so i'll travel there and probably back in it unless i get something new there that i want to travel in instead and then three jackets the sequin one the veronica beard blazer the j crew cocoon and the VS Spiga, um, I mean, this is just, it's not a jacket, it's a, a vest, but one furry vest from VS Spiga. So those are all the pieces I'm taking. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 24, so 24 pieces, which is covering dresses, swimsuits, pajamas, everything. All right. I'm going to put on these things for you and change out of these. And I'm taking four, um, kind of five pairs of shoes, but I'll show you the fifth pair that you haven't seen yet. Deborah's like, how long are you in Korea, Kim? So I'll only be in Korea for a week, but, and so I could take, half the amount of clothing, but because I'm filming and doing day and night outings and filming, I need to have enough kind of um, range. So I think for what I'm doing, being able to get it down to this few of pieces, I feel like it's kind of an accomplishment because I know people who do what I do and they will take like five suitcases packed full of clothing. Now, maybe if I had to photograph things for brands because they sent me a bunch of clothing, that would obviously be different, but I never, I only get sent skincare. I never get sent um, clothing. So um, anyway, so that's, so it's totally different. So, okay. Okay, this is what we'll do to expedite this. I got my swimsuit on. So this is the Tory Burch swimsuit, just super basic. It's black, I actually need to like wash it before I go because I have like deodorant up on here or something. Um, so I love this bathing suit. It's very flattering. It makes me feel extremely comfortable. Like, and it photographs well because not a lot of attention goes to the swimsuit. So if I'm in the Korean spa, for instance, I don't want to bring a lot of attention to what I'm wearing. I want to bring attention to the spa. So I was looking for a swimsuit that would not be, you know, the star. We don't need the swimsuit to be the star. We want the spa to be the star. I do have my Tory Burch flats to go with this. And so like, this robe, this silk robe from Anthropology, which is gorgeous, is like the perfect thing to put over it when I'm going to the Korean spa, for instance. So beautiful. And then for nighttime, when I'm going to sleep, I 
these pajamas. These are just the Nordstrom pajamas. At first when I went to buy them, I thought each piece was $49 and I was kind of like, uh, but I really liked the color of this and thought it would photograph well. So I was like, fine, I'll splurge on another $100 pair of pajamas. But in the end, it was $49 for the set. So that was amazing. So I do have these in a size small. You can see that they're pretty roomy, which is awesome, you know, for sleeping. Like you want something that's roomy and not making you feel like, you know, you don't want to be tight in, in garments when you're sleeping. You want to be able to have freedom. And then I thought it paired really well again with this robe. And we will, we will definitely do a live from the room one night and share with you guys what it looks like and everything. Now, again, Priya is on the opposite time from the US. So I don't know if very many of you will actually be able to make the live while it's live, but just know you'll be able to watch it later when you wake up, which will be great. I'll also plan on doing a live from the expo as well. So maybe one day I'll spend filming the expo, then the next day I'll do live footage, stuff like that. So isn't this a fun robe? This is the anthropology robe. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Um, I hope it will go on sale for you guys because this was one of those things that I did pay full price for and had a little bit of a heart palpitation about it because again, I just always want a deal. <laughs> and whether it's right or wrong, like this is the thing. This is what's crazy. If they had priced this robe at 500, and then discounted it 60% and told me I was getting it for 175 or something, I would have been like, oh my gosh, I got such a steal and I would feel so good about it. But when I buy it full price at 175, I'm like, Ugh, I was totally taken advantage of. It's, it's such a weird mental thing. It has nothing to do with reality. It's like, it's such a mental thing. Okay, so let's see. Oh. Let's get these things off the ground. Now, obviously I'm going to be taking bra and underwear. I will be taking a big toiletry bag full of stuff for skincare and things like that and makeup. So I'm gonna share with you now some of the bags I'm taking. I haven't packed my skincare thing yet, so I don't have that to go through with you, but I will go over all of these other things that I'm taking, including things that I think are important to travel with. Um, so I'll show you, I'll show you that. And then, oh, and then we're taking two hats, a pair of sunglasses. I might also take these sunglasses because they kind of have this like really cool, kind of cool vibe. I don't know. The only thing I don't like about these sunglasses is they hit my lashes so much that I have to like wear them out on my bridge of my nose. So it's kind of like, because they're so flat, you know? So I don't know, but they're kind of fun. Okay, um, oh, I might actually take my big black Fendi's. That might be another pair I take. So maybe I'll take two pairs of Fendi's, the gold ones and the big black ones. And then the bags I'm taking are my YSL bag, my Fendi bag, my fake yellow Chanel bag, because sometimes it's fun to just have something like pop, you know? And then um, my black leather fanny pack. So those are the three kind of accessory bag or four accessory bags that I'm taking. One Gucci belt, which acts as a double because it's black on one side and that great taupe color on the other side. Okay. Okay. I couldn't see you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, just kidding, the robe is 138. <laughs> Not as expensive as Kim said. Probably because when I was checking out there, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm being taken advantage of that anthropology. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm taking one pair of boots, one pair of heels, one pair of sneakers, 
one pair of slides, and one pair of loafers. So five shoes in total. So all of this stuff will easily fit in this bag. So that's gonna work out really great for me. Okay, let's look at some of the things that I think are important to take when you're going on a trip like this. So first off, you guys remember on Amazon Live last week, I did do this comparison on the travel toiletry bags. Now I've been using another one like this forever, but I did just get myself this new one. This one's a little bit bigger. And this is the Clucci. And somebody during the live said it's her fake Gucci brand, which I thought was really hilarious. I don't know if that's picking up there, but it was really, really funny to me. Um, anyways, it's, it's very affordable on Amazon. Lots of compartments. When you get to the bathroom, you can just unzip it and hang it on a rope hook and you have all of your products there. Dottie and I will be sharing a um, club suite at the Four Seasons. We finally got finished talking to their PR department about filming and stuff and them honoring kind of the deal that we had last time when we came to film. And um, anyways, that's set up, I'm excited. So we'll be sharing a bathroom so you can imagine that bathroom's gonna be packed full of stuff. Okay. The other bag that I'll be taking is this one. Now I'll probably utilize this one for the in-air travel. This is just packed full of makeup right now. I'm not taking this much makeup, but this will be great for in-air travel because I love how it will sit up easily on the bathroom sink and I can do skincare and a polish up before we land. So this is a great size and I will take this with me. This is also on from Amazon and I, I really like this bag. The bottom of it also zips open so you can get brushes if I can unzip it correctly. So you can get brushes and even a sheet mask in the bottom of it. So this is a great, great, um, inexpensive cosmetics case. Okay, here are some things that you might wanna include when you're traveling. A lint roller, very important. Things get dusty. When I get to a hotel, I immediately unpack everything and I hang it in the closet and um, put anything away in the drawers. One of the ways I do this really quickly too is that the things that go in the drawers go in my packing cubes. So I just pick up the packing cubes and throw them in the drawers. And then things that are hung, I have on hangers. So as soon as I get there, I just throw them up on the hangers typically. If I'm not taking everything on a hanger, then um, I will utilize their hangers. The other thing that I take with me is a this is a, um, a portable steamer. So I have a tall steamer uh, that I keep here in the house. This is a portable steamer. So like if your silk shirt gets, you know, needs to be ironed or your dress needs to be ironed or whatever, or you get new clothes that you wanna wear but they are coming out of a package or something and they're all, they need to be ironed. It's so much easier to just have your steamer. So this is just a little handheld, portable steamer from Amazon. I think that these things are a necessity. Now you should probably set these up before you go on your trip so you don't necessarily need to take these. But if you were buying shoes and you wanted to wear them in Korea or on your trip, these might be a good thing to have on hand so that you can help fix those shoes if they are hurting you. Okay, whether you're flying business class or not, you wanna be comfortable on your flight. And just so you know, uh, after COVID and everything, the flights stopped giving out blankets back in coach. They used to, they no longer do. So especially if you're in coach, you should get something like this. So, um, so what it is, is it's, it can be a pillow. It can, it also has a strap so it can go on your, your roll away, like your rolling bag if you're doing a carry on. And then you open it up and basically it's just a micro fleece blanket 
that you can travel with. So this is like your soft travel micro fleece blanket. And in case you get cold, which can happen on flights, especially this time of year. So it's like really easy to just put back in its little pouch and the pouch acts as a pillow if you're not using it as a blanket. So I like that when I am flying like coach or a flight that I can't lay down on, I like to make sure I have the window seat. I feel like I get a little bit more room there because of the window alcove and that's where I will basically take my blanket up onto and tuck my head against the window. So that's one of the ways I sleep. I also, because I'm short, I lay down the tray table and I will sleep on the tray table with my arms. <laughs> but then your arm kind of goes to sleep. There is this thing that I got once that was like a blow up triangle thing that you blew up and your arms went through it and then your like head like rested on it and it went on the fold out tray. But I don't know. Sometimes that just gets very cumbersome. And I, I didn't really, I didn't really love like the material that my face was laying against. So I just like will lay blankets or something on the tray and like lay on it. Um, okay. So those are the kinds of things that I think are good to take. Okay. Let's look. Oh, this is the other thing. Okay. I love these plugs. I started using them in 2017 for China and these are incredible. So one plug, you don't need converters anymore. This is a plug and converter in one. So on the side, you basically have, sorry, I don't know how the lens is focusing. I think because of the wide angle that I chose today, I can't be very close up. Okay, so basically you have the EU, the UK, or the USA, Australia, which the USA, Australia also works for Asia. So this goes into the wall and now all of a sudden you have, and this is important for me because I have so much stuff to charge and, and plug in when I get places. So I um, have, let's see, I get four regular USBs on the top and then I get a USB-C on the side, which is awesome because that's what our computers take. Also my DJI charging takes that too. So it's nice to have a USB-C quickly in, then like it just pops back in, but like here's the EU plug, here's the um, UK plug, and then um, yeah, and, and on this side you can see everywhere that their devices would plug in. So like, yeah, I'm trying to think of the scenario, but anyways, I use this all the time, everywhere. Um, we actually have like five of these now. Every kid, Jason, everyone gets their own because I need my own and I'm not sharing. Like, okay, <clears throat> this is my vlogging camera right now. So this is my new vlogging camera. I've used a million different vlogging cameras. I'm excited about this new Sony A7C. The thing that's made this different than a lot of other setups forever from Sony is that before they didn't have a flip out mirror, like uh, screen, like you, like so many other companies were doing it, but Sony never would. The last one I got from them like would flip up up here, but that's also where my mic is. So that never made any sense. So now it flips out to the side. So it's easy for me to vlog like this. I have this attachment. It, this camera doesn't come with this. This is an add on but it plugs in so now it's nicely mic'd, makes it so much easier for me to edit the audio. This camera, I can switch the lenses out of on, on now. It works just like the camera that you see me filming on or the filming setup that I have in my office, but I feel great about being able to travel with this. It takes beautiful pictures. They, it all Wi-Fi's and Bluetooth to my phone so I can immediately edit as I take the pictures and then I can post. So this is great, great camera. So when I'm doing like footage where I'm talking about something or introducing something or having dialogue, I use that vlogging camera. 
if I want to get B-roll, so let's say I'm at the Four Seasons and I just want to get beautiful B-roll, maybe I want to get time-lapsed B-roll, I use my DJI. These are super inexpensive and I've been using this for a really long time. I think the first time I used it was like in Turkey and, um, and since then they've come out with new versions. This is the latest version. I have two now of the version two because I thought I lost it and I couldn't find it so then I'm gonna buy another one. So now I have two, which is awesome. These are gimbaled and they fit in your pocket, hence the name, the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is incredible. I, it even puts out great audio. A lot of times I literally do only vlog with this because sometimes I get tired of carrying around my bigger camera. And this makes life so much easier that, and the audio and the footage is beautiful in this. The only thing is is sometimes when I want to take a nicer picture or blow up a picture from the video, it gets grainy. So that's the only reason I still have my other vlogging camera. If this didn't have that uh, loss in quality, this would be the only thing I'd ever take forever. Except I do take a GoPro 10 because I like to always get like water footage in pools and spas. So I take my GoPro 10 specifically for that. And this will probably be what we take into the Korean spa along with, I'll probably take everything into the Korean spa honestly because they're gonna give us a time where we can film, where people are in it. So I won't have to feel like as covert about anything, which will be great. Um, last, the other thing I take for filming is my phone. Like I take my iPhone 13, it does a fabulous job and um, it really comes through for me a lot of times when I didn't bring something and then something's going on and I'm like, why wasn't I ready to film this? So then I just pull out my phone. I always film horizontally because by filming horizontally, I can use it in, I, in GoPro, in YouTube videos, I can, cut it and use it in stories like or in reels or TikTok. So anyways, like I always film horizontally no matter what. I sometimes I'm lazy and I film vertically because I'm like I'm just gonna make this real but I I typically am always like film horizontally because it gives you more options which is very true. And so with that in mind this is what I use like if I was doing a live in the hotel or somewhere with the phone because we'll use the phone to do the lives then i have this tripod that has an iphone mount on it and this is what i use to do that with so those are kinds of the things that i take with me um okay oh dotty had to go bye dotty okay you guys i hope this gave you good insight the last thing i'm going to show you is just this um my suitcase opening up and and we're not going to throw all this stuff in the suitcase because i mean i don't think that that's very exciting for you guys but i will show you a couple things about it and how i will pack it up so one thing that i do is i keep the things that i use for traveling like my packing cubes in my luggage so they're ready to go. So here's all my packing cubes. And I actually have multiple sets of these, so they're just all like jammed together in here. And then the other thing I have is a hanging bag for things that are long. So I will put all of my dresses, my robe, things like that, probably um, some of the jackets on this with their hangers, and then this will get folded in on one side. And then I will, you know, do all of the knits and the pants and things like that into the fold into the cubes and then it will all lock in here perfectly together the shoes all go in shoe bags so for instance all of the shoes that i typically buy come with a shoe bag so here's like a tory birch shoe bag so i will put them all in their shoe bags so that they don't get messed up or get dirt on any of the other things and that's basically how I do it. The bags will all get put into their own uh, cover bag as well. And um, I think that's it, you guys. I think that's, that's what it is. I hope that that really helped you guys. Um, let's see. Um, 
Oh, yes, I know Melissa's great at keeping the conversation going and answering all the questions. Sorry, you guys, that like, it's hard for me to see them as I'm doing this, but I also want it to be useful for people who watch this at a later time, because even though you came for the live, if you came later to watch this, thank you. I hope that I helped expedite as much as this is possible. Oh, the other thing is my um, pill case. I, I feel like sometimes when I'm on trips, I'm even better at taking my pills because I line them up for every day and it's just like part of the ritual there. So that's, I'll have all my vitamins and pills ready to go in my pill case. And I'm super excited about going and I can't wait to see Dottie next week. And I can't wait to share all of the amazing footage and experience that I'm going to get in Korea. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today. And um, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, you guys.